Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank from iMudo. This is the Smart Power SL200 SPD. Like I said, this power bank features 20,000 milliamp hours of battery life. It also supports quick charging via Type-C and standard USB. And on top of all that, it also has the ability to charge a MacBook. All that for around $49 on Amazon using the available coupon. So check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Remove this marketing sleeve. It comes in a nice cardboard box, and I like that because you can recycle it. While I'm getting into this, just want to thank Amudo for sending me this device to test. Thank you very much. All right, so it looks like on top we have the power bank right here. We'll set that to the side, see what else is in the box. We have a charging cable, which is standard USB to Type-C connector. This can be used to not only charge the power bank right here, but also charge any device with the power bank. Looks to be a really high quality cable with some Amudo branding on it as well. We have an owner's manual, some marketing material, and then we have a little carrying case. Amudo says this is a waterproof case, which is definitely nice. Usually the cases included with power banks are not waterproof. The material definitely seems to be waterproof. You also have a nice Amudo logo on it. The power bank out of the bag right here. All right, so as you can see, very interesting design with the gold two-tone ring at the top that kind of goes around the area where you charge the power bank and also the outputs right here. All four of these are outputs. You also have a nice Imudo logo. I really like this gold color. It's not too flashy. It's kind of like a flat gold almost. The plastic seems pretty sturdy and it really doesn't seem to show fingerprints on it that much. On the back side here, we have some information about the battery that's in it, the capacity, the inputs, and also the outputs that are available as well. And then right here you have a button. It turns on this little display on the top. As you can see, this is a digital display and it tells you the percentage on the battery that's inside the power bank. So looking at the connectors again, we have a Type-C connector right here. And like I said, this can be used for charging the device as well as charging other devices with the power bank. You have a quick charging port that is USB, that is standard USB. And then you have two ports right here. These are standard USB as well. They feature what is called IM Power 2 technology, where it actually, once you hook a phone to it or device, will identify what type of device that is and then output the correct power for that device. So it's going to determine how much power that device should receive and it's going to charge the phone or tablet or device accordingly, which is pretty cool. These connectors feel pretty good. They're not too stiff, but they're stiff enough that it's going to hold the cable and you can get it out nice and easily. The Type-C connector also feels good as well. All the connectors are also laid within a device, so you don't have to worry about them snagging or getting stuck on anything. It's definitely going to allow them to last longer. So taking a closer look at the digital display here, as you can see in the video, it's kind of flashing. That is not what it really looks like. I'll show you a picture right now of what it really looks like but it looks very clear, really easy to read. It does seem to be under plastic, so it kind of dulls the brightness, which could be good, but I could see this being hard to read in direct sunlight, but it might be good if you're in a dark environment, such as camping or something, where it won't be so bright. But as you can see, it did not come fully charged. It came at 83%. All right, so as you can see here, I'm running an app called Ampere, and what this does is it measures the current from our charger into your phone. So it'll tell us how much power is being sent to my phone from the power bank. We'll first test out the QC plug right here, the quick charging plug, using the cable that was provided. So after giving it a little bit of time to stabilize, I'm getting about an amp in, which isn't bad. That's going to provide a quick charge, but it could be quicker than that. So now that we've tried the QC port, let's go ahead and try one of the IM Power 2 technology ports. So after giving this a little bit of time to stabilize, we're getting about the same, a little bit more than an amp, and it's kind of fluctuating below an amp. So I would say an average of an amp in, which is basically the same thing we were getting out of the QC port. So now that I've tried both of these standard USB ports with the provided cable, I'm gonna test out the Type-C connector on the device as an output into my phone, and we'll see what type of charge we're getting from that. So I'll just plug this in right here. So after giving this some time to stabilize, we're getting 1060 milliamps, which is just a little bit more than we were getting from the standard USB ports, the quick charging ports, and then the IM technology ports. All right, so now that we've seen what it's like to charge a Type-C connected device, I have a phone that takes a micro USB connector. So let's see what kind of charge we get in that. All right, so now that we've seen the output for Type-C connected devices, I have a phone that is micro USB, and I'm gonna plug it into the quick charge port right here. I'm using an anchor cable, so this one should be able to provide a quick charge. All right, so as you can see, after letting it stabilize a little bit, it did go up to 2200 milliamps, but we're stabilizing around 1500, and it seems to be going back up a little bit. So that is really good. That's going to provide a very nice quick charge to this device, so I'm very happy with that. 
All right, so as you saw on the test, the Armudo 20,000 milliamp hour battery, the SL200 SPD, does provide a nice quick charge. When it comes to charging phones, you're gonna get up to around 1500 milliamp hours, which is really good, and that's gonna provide a nice quick charge. Now, this device is capable of charging MacBooks or Nintendo Switches as well, so it definitely makes it very versatile because you have the ability to not only charge your phones, your cameras, things like that, you also have the ability to charge a MacBook if you have one. When it comes to build quality, I would say this has a pretty good build quality. The plastic seems to be of high quality. It does have a little bit of bend to it when you squeeze it, so it's not completely stiff. And then you do have this area up here, which I would just be a little bit worried with this getting scratches because it's kind of a gold light color. And then the logo also seems like it's made out of a material that might get scratched as well. But other than that, it does seem sturdy and seems like it'll last a long time. The connectors are all laid within the device, so you're not gonna have any snagging right there. And it feels good when you plug things into them. They feel of high quality. In addition, you get this really nice carrying bag that is waterproof and it fits the power bank very well, leaving plenty of extra room for connectors, or you can even put your cell phone in there. The included cable is around four feet long. It does have some logoing on it for my Mudo, which is always cool, and it feels of high quality as well. It is a Type-C connector. Overall, for the price of around $49, I would highly recommend the iMudo 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact power bank on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.